Let's start some 1500 meter action. This is the under 17 boys. And you could call this a warm up for Carifta. Harrison College's Luke McIntyre is in good form and he brought along his teammate Matthew Clark for a company. These two were sewed up with an easy and steady pace. Luke, the one who was more so, giving it his all. As he crosses the lane, stopping the clock in 4 minutes, 32.37 seconds. Clark's time, 4 minutes, 35.01. And like college, the under-20 girls from Springer will make their 1,500 race a total domination. Into the final stage, and Renisha Stewart was step on the gas, looking like it was a walk in the park. Behind her, the other Government Hill girl is Shantae Seal. These two made it a sizable lead over the rest of the field. But Stewart was the one who was fully in charge, crossing the line in 5 minutes, 35.23 seconds. And here comes Seal, 5 minutes, 40.83 Springer girls have all right to celebrate. The under 20 boys race was paced like fire, and when it came to settling the score, it will be 8 C's Finn Armstrong and the law school's Camille Brathwaite. At the 200 mark, they both increased the pace. Brathwaite leading, Armstrong tracking, and watch as Armstrong makes his move. Another of our Carifta athletes is making the most of this competition as he sprints for home while Bradford loses team. So let's just wait for the winning time and it will register at 4 minutes 23.42 seconds. Bradford, a very commendable second in 4 minutes 25.62. And from the distance events to the sprints. The under-17 girls 100 meters and this fastest time came in this heat. In the red, blue and white of Dighton Griffith, she had them beat by the first 60 meters of the race, Alyssa Weeks, in a time of 12.58 seconds. Second overall actually came in the very next heat. Pay attention to the inside of the field. Springer Memorial's Ja'Kaya Padmore with a strong challenge from college's Serenity Miller, who was actually third overall, their times 12.62 seconds and 12.81. The Springer girls are on their feet again. Even the officials were loving the vibe. Guess we know who she's backing. The under-17 boys sprint literally brought me off my feet, as this will be a blanket finish. Oh, the blocks at the facial expressions tell it all. No games, pure fight. And coming at us three the hard way was colleges Amari Ford, Mackay King of Dighton, and Johnson Ross of Parkinson. And that's how it would be, photo finish style. Here are the times, 11.23, 11.25, and 11.28. It can't get closer than that. Springer girls report yet again, as the under 2100 will be a sweep as well. Lanes 1 and 4, Romance Wilcher and Malia Edwards. And these girls came storming down the track in full business mode, and it'll be Wilcher just ahead of Edwards, 12.27 and 12.28 the times, with law school's Daniel Haynes in third, 12.60. And on the 20 boys, where all the running was on the inside. Law schools of Manny Masker Beckles and colleges Jeremy Small. Both boys coming to the line together, but Small was the judge their winner. Masker Beckles, the Crypto qualifier, was beaten. But the times were good 10.82 seconds and 10.84. And while the track was hot on the field, Lodge got a champion in Nathan King in the under 17 boys high jump with a clearance of 1.75 meters. Well, second was college's Jules O'Garro, knocking down at this 1.75 meter height, but he had a best clearance of 1.70. Day one of the Shane Bradford zone is dusted. Tomorrow's day two will bring the curtain down on the zone meets.